Hello and welcome to the USL portal. My name is Abdul BCC and I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to do your online application through the portal. This tutorial will mainly focus on the University of Sierra Leone application process and we are going to use the Institute of Public Administration and Management IPAM as a case study. So without further ado, let's get started. Launch your favorite web browser and navigate to the following URL usl.edu.sl This is the home page of the portal. So on this page, navigate to the top menu bar and click on where it says apply online. If you did the previous steps correctly, you would be presented with the following page, online application. This page has two main sections and we are going to focus on the first section. So type in your 20 digit pin and please verify and make sure you type in the correct pin. Click on the submit button and let's proceed to the next page. So this is step 1 of 7 steps we are going to complete together for this online application. Let's choose a profile image. Navigate to the image location. Click on the image and click open. There we have our image. So next, choose the admission group or level, undergraduate or postgraduate. Choose your title. Type in your surname and other names. Other names here may include your first name and middle name if there is any. Next, choose your date of birth. Here you have room to go forward by scrolling down or backward by scrolling to the top. Click on the year, month, and day. Choose your gender and marital status. Choose your home region. Next, your present occupation and place of work. Next, your phone number. Choose your network code and enter your SIM number. Next, your email address. And next, your religion. Next, your national identification number. This field is not mandatory, but you can provide it if you do have one. Next is disability type. Choose no if you are not disabled and the disability status would be inactive. But if you say yes, it would become active and allow you to choose your disability status. So for me, I would say no. The next two fields are your postal and residential addresses. There is a slight difference between the two but if you are permanently residing here in Sierra Leone, I suggest you enter the same address on both fields as we don't deal with postal codes here nor do we have post office boxes for mail delivery which I believe is the essence of the postal address. Next, choose your nationality and click on save and continue. A quick note here because this is very important. Clicking on the save and continue for the first time would not take us to step 2. 
what would happen is that the, the portal system would be prompted to generate um, what we call a one-time pass code or OTP code and would be forwarded to the email address we provided above. That was why I emphasized earlier on that um, you need a working email address and phone number. And this is because you can't proceed to the next step without the OTP code. So if we are clear on that, click on save and continue and I will see you in the next video as we continue with the application process.